Hi everybody, it's John Lortz from DiscoverSkills.com back with another video that's part of the series that I'm calling Taking Control of Your Windows Desktop. And today what I'd like to do is talk a little bit about changing your Windows background, your desktop background. The easiest way to get into the background change, and there's different ways you can get into here, but the easiest is with the good old right click. And so if I put my mouse in a blank area and go right click, I of course get the right click menu and so if I slide down here here are different things that have to do with our desktop where I'm gonna go is to personalize now when I open up the personalize window there's lots of stuff in here a lot of these things uh, that first come up are themes that have to do with uh, changing the look the color the feel of your desktop and everything windows um, and we will take a look at these in another video at a later time what I want to focus on today in this window is right down here at the bottom where it says desktop background. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click on that. And when we do, we are in a screen now where we can actually choose what we want our background to be. Now, to start with, you'll notice that right now mine is set to look for background pictures that are in the My Picture folder. Okay, and in fact, I can browse to any folder on my computer that has pictures in it and I can choose those pictures to be part of my background. For example, uh, you'll notice here that I've got some pictures, some family pictures here. There's my wife Sue and Jack and if I were to come down here and go click on this background you can see that if I move the window aside here you can see that now that picture is in the center of the screen here and that I might actually leave there. It's a pretty cool little background okay I can do that for any picture that I have on my computer you know if I've got a certain picture here that I want to have as my background I can do that notice that it is centered because of right here it says picture position if I click on the drop down for this you're going to see that I can choose to have it filled fit stretch tile and center so for example if I click on fill you can see now that it's filling the entire background. See that? And it actually chops off some of the picture so that it doesn't distort. If I choose fit, it fills as much as it can without distorting the screen. Okay. If I choose stretch, it stretches the picture out, fills the screen, but I see the whole picture but it's kind of distorted and it's stretched okay and if I choose tile it's going to take that picture and it's going to repeat it as many times as it needs to on the screen to fill the screen up with that picture size so you've got some different options that you can choose from now I'm going to go ahead and go back here and I'm going to choose center and there it is back on the screen again Okay. Now, one more thing to kind of go along with this. Um, let's say that you have an entire folder full of pictures and you'd like to have your desktop change. With Windows 7, you can actually have your desktop change on a regular basis. So, to do that, we have to choose, first of all, multiple pictures. So, here's this one chosen. I'm going to mouse over. This is one of my granddaughter. I'm going to check that one. Here is my logo. I'm going to check on that and here's a little motivational screen that says take action I'm gonna click on that so you can see here that if I'm in a folder I could actually go and I could mouse over click the checkbox for multiple pictures and that means that I've chosen them down here at the, at the bottom I have a thing that says change picture every X number of minutes and if I click on this drop down you'll see that we have all kinds of different times that we can change it. Let's just choose 10 seconds just to so that we can actually see it during the course of this video. And then I also have one that says shuffle here. Shuffle simply means jump around, don't do these in order, just go randomly through the different pictures. Okay, so you can already see it changing back here. Let me just move this out of the way. So every 10 seconds now that picture is going to change and if we wait here long enough there we go do you see a change and I'm not doing anything that's just automatically changing itself we'll see a change one more time here there we go 
Now, if we go back into this window here, you'll notice that we could set this again for different times. And, you know, I think uh, when I've done this before, I've set it to every 20 minutes, and it's kind of nice. It'll be there, and then it changes every 20 minutes, and I get a different picture that I can look at for a while. Now, this, of course, is working with our own pictures, but if you were to look at this right now at home, you probably don't have it set to look at your own pictures. Instead, if I go back up here to picture location and I click on the little drop down, you'll notice that we have different places that we can have Windows automatically look. And in particular, there's one called Windows Desktop Backgrounds. That's probably what your computer is set to right now. Windows or Microsoft comes with a whole series of different colorful backgrounds that you can choose from. And you can see that as I scroll up and down this list, here's a section called Architecture, Characters, Landscapes, um, Nature, Scenes, so on and so forth down here. Okay. Now, right now when I choose that, let me go back into it again here. Right now when I went into it, you can see that these are already all checked. And so it's literally going to work through the different screen backgrounds every 20 minutes that I have in here. Now, I'm going to come up to these buttons right here. This very quickly and easily lets me clear all of these, meaning that now they're all unchecked. And if I just want to choose a particular one just to have there all the time, like I, let's say that I really kind of like this, this sunset one here, I could go click. Because it's the only one I've checked, this one is going to stay on the screen until I choose a different background. If I choose this one instead, if I uncheck this and choose this one, now this one would stay on my screen. Okay. Or as I did with my other family pictures, I could check multiple pictures. And just as before, I could tell it how often I wanted it to change and then I could I could choose to shuffle which means to randomly change this okay so you can choose from some of the pre-created windows uh, backgrounds that are given to you from Microsoft okay now one more thing I want to show you up in this menu let's go back up to it again and I want to go to solid colors okay um, if you've ever taken any classes down in our Lincoln Computer Education Center lab, you know that our desktops, when you walk in, are fairly uncluttered and they're a solid color. And the reason we do that is because, you know, it's pretty hard to see icons on things like this. I mean, if you look at these icons here, they're kind of hard to see, aren't they? Okay. And so what we do a lot of times, just for visibility's sake, is we will choose a solid color like this. Okay. So again, Microsoft gives you a whole series of different colored backgrounds that you can choose from. And for some people, this is a lot easier on the eyes than going to, say, a library window and seeing something like this. But, but it's your choice. That's the whole point. It's your choice. So again, when you come into here, you can choose either to go to out to your own pictures, to my pictures, and then it's just a matter of going out to a folder that that has the picture you want you choose it and then you can choose to position it okay or you can choose multiple pictures by check marking them and then choose how often they should change or you can come back to this menu and go to windows pre-created backgrounds or you can choose solid colors and there are other options in this menu. A lot of these other options simply have to do with other pictures and other places on your computer. Okay? And, and frankly, you can get to all the pictures you'd want through My Pictures and by browsing to a particular folder. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and fix this back the way I wanted it. I'm going to clear these off. There's my little logo. I'm going to check mark that. Click on Save Changes. And there we go. We are sort of back to where we were, although I guess I need to change this color back to something different, don't I? <laughs> although it's not a bad color. Anyway, I hope that was helpful.
Again, today we've been talking about changing your Windows backtop. It's part of our series called Taking Control of the Windows Desktop. If you've got any questions or if you'd like to see some of the other videos that we produce, we would love to have you visit our website. The address is www.discoverskills.com. And of course, I'd always love to hear from you. My email address is jlortz at discoverskills.com. Just drop me a note. And again, I would love to hear from you any comments or questions that you might have. Well, thanks again for watching, and next time we will be finishing up our series on taking control of the desktop by talking about how to change the screen resolution. Until then, hope you're having a great day, hope you continue to have a great day, and I will see you in the next video.